Hi students, welcome back. Let's continue with the conditions of the parallelism. In the previous videos, I explained about the data dependency and the control dependency. Now coming to the last type of dependency, that is the resource dependency. Resource dependency means we are trying to use uh, the two different statements or trying to use the same resources at a time. So then there is a dependent, at a time means uh, not at a, they are dependent. So one statement is dependent on the another statement based on the resources. So now let me explain this what exactly the resource dependency is. So if you take the data and control whatever we had discussed so far, the data and control dependencies are completely based on independence of work independence of work to be done work to be done so even if several segments are independent they cannot be executed in parallel if they are not sufficient processing resources note down this point even if several segments are independent they cannot be they cannot be executed in parallel if they are not sufficient processing resources right or wrong sufficient processing resources let me explain this point what it means means suppose if the two statements suppose c is equal to some a plus b and d is equal to f plus k something statements are there even though if several segments are independent, this statement is independent on these statements, right? Because they are using different, different registers. So, the each statements are independent. Even though if several segments are independent, they cannot be executed in parallel. Why they cannot be executed in parallel? Suppose if the resources are not available, if whatever the suppose it is trying to use the adder. If one statement is trying to use the adder, it, the other statement needs to uh, wait in a queue so that the adder, that resources has to get free. That is what they are saying, the resource dependency. Even if several segments are independent, they cannot be executed in parallel if they are not sufficient processing resources or available. So the resource re dependency is concerned with conflicts in using shared resources, obviously. So they are mostly concerned with, let me write that point, the resource dependencies are concerned with conflicts in using shared resources. Whenever they are working on the shared resources, there should be a concern with the conflicts. Okay. So, here the such as the registers, whatever the registers are there and the integers or floating point uh, units, all these floating point units and if you take the arithmetic logic units and memory areas among parallel events. So, when we are trying to concern with the, we, these resource dependencies or more concerned with the conflicts with when, you are, when they are using the shared resources. Okay. So, actually, if you take the ALU, the ALU conflicts are called ALU dependency. And if you take the memory conflicts, the memory conflicts are, are called storage dependency. Let me write that point. Okay. So, if you talk about the arithmetic logic unit conflicts, so, the ALU conflicts are called ALU dependence. So, when the ALU conflicts will be occurred, whenever the arithmetic logic unit dependency relationship is there, then the ALU conflicts will be occurred. Because they are, the different dependency statements are trying to use the arithmetic logic unit uh, and they are trying to overwrite it and they are trying to use the same resource at a time, then the ALU conflicts will be occur. So, when you are talking about the memory conflicts, so the memory conflicts are called storage dependency. Storage dependency. So, when the memory conflicts of resource are uh, occur, whenever the storage dependencies are there, obviously the memory conflicts will be occur. So, this is, a, this is about the resource dependency. So, whenever uh, uh, different statements are executing in the parallel, even though they are execute independent to each other, they are not sufficient. Uh, if they are not sufficient processing resources, they cannot be executed. So, this point has to be remembered. Thank you.